Let's look at including percentage into our fraction and decimal. Let's say we had um, 5 eighths. We want it as a decimal. Um, we want this to become a decimal and then we see how much percentage it, it is. So again, long division. This is 5, 8, 8 into 5. You can't, 0 point. 0, 8 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Divide by 10. In other words, add a 0. 8 into 50. 8, 5, 48, 6, 48. It's 6. 6 times 8 is 48. 50 minus 48 is 2. You divide by 10. In other words, add a 0 here. 8 into 20. How many 8 do we have in 20? 8, 2, 16. It's 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. You divide by 10. So you add the 0. 8 into 40 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 minus 40, 0. So that's where we stop. So, 5 eighths. 5 eighths is equal to 0 0.625 as a decimal. Now, 0 0.625 is what percentage? First of all, 0 0.625 means the same as 0 0.625 out of 1. Now, per means out of. 80 kilometers per hour means you travel covering 80 kilometers out of every hour that passes. Dollars per liter of gas means you are paying or the gas station is making how much money in dollars out of every liter that it sells. So dollars per liter kilometers per hour per means out of so per you divide out of cent means hundred so it's out of cent now it means you must multiply the one by hundred up here this must also be multiplied by a hundred so 0 0.625 out of one is the same as up here what happened? 0 0.625 times 100 is 62.5. 1 times 100, 100. So this is 62.5 per 100 per cent. So the short way of writing it is 62.5 slash means per and the two zeros just like this is zero and this is zero. Cent. So it's 62.5 per cent. All right, per hundred out of hundred. All right, so that's an example of looking at a number as a fraction, then convert it to a decimal, which we did here, and put write it down as a percentage. So, what we have, what we end up with, let me just erase this. What we end up with is the fact that 5 eighths as a fraction is equal to 0 0.625 as a decimal which is 0 which is 62.5 percent as a percentage so we get we end up with this i'll see you